The latest Intel client CPU roadmap has leaked out, which details desktop and mobility product plans through 2021. The roadmap shows Intel's upcoming 14 nanometer and 10 nanometer product lines, which will be launching in the coming years. The latest roadmaps come from tweakers and details both the client commercial CPU products and the client mobile CPU products, which would be introduced in the future. The authenticity of these roadmaps cannot be quite confirmed at this time, but they are referenced back to the Intel's SIP program and Dell, so there might be some legitimacy to them after all. Starting off with the desktop side of things, we're looking at the S-Series and Xeon E-Series family. The S-Series lineup is based around the Socket H LGA115, well, X, I guess at this point, and has various 35-watt, 65-watt, and 95-watt SKUs. The lineup is currently made of 14 nanometer plus plus based Coffee Lake S refresh parts, which fall under the ninth generation banner. These include up to eight core SKUs, with the flagship product being the Core i9 9900K. It looks like Intel will stick with 14 nanometer plus plus for a while, as this roadmap reveals around Q2 2020, Intel will launch their Comet Lake S processors, featuring up to 10 core SKUs. And these will be followed by Intel's Rocket Lake S parts, which would also be based on an optimized 14 nanometer process node. It looks like we can expect a 10 nanometer or sub 10 nanometer part from Intel only around 2022, which is about the same time Intel is expected to launch their Ocean Cove CPU architecture. Ocean Cove is a future chip architecture under development at Intel, which will launch after Golden Cove, which is 2021 is the successor to Willow Cove in 2020, which will itself be the successor to Intel Sunny Cove or Ice Lake Core's architecture. As for the Xeon E side, we currently have the new Coffee Lake E series parts featuring up to eight cores, but the upcoming family, which will be called Comet Lake Xeon E, will feature up to 10 cores while supporting PCIe Gen 3 in Q1 2020. Its successor will be Rocket Lake Xeon E, which will feature up to 10 cores and support for the new PCIe Gen 4 standard and launch by Q1 2021. Now there are a few things to consider here. First is that relying on 14 nanometer for as long as 2021 when your competitor will be moving to 7 nanometer plus or even sub 7 nanometer doesn't sound well for Intel's mainstream client desktop plans. Also, their entry-level workstation platform and Xeon E would be much late to support PCIe Gen 4 standard, which is expected to be introduced on AMD's X570 platform in the coming months. Moving over to the mobility side of things, the chances of 10 nanometer here are much higher than the pure desktop parts. The top end H slash G SKUs, which have a 45 and 65 watt TDPs, will get Comet Lake H to refresh in Q2 2020, featuring up to 8 or 10 cores on 14 nanometers. Over at the U series SKU, which is the 28 down to 15 watt SKUs, Intel will first be introducing their Ice Lake U series dual and quad core processors, and these will have limited production while the actual volume production will be given to Comet Lake U, which is on 14 nanometer, which will have up to 6 core SKUs. The Ice Lake U series will be introduced around Computex while the Comet Lake U series would be introduced in Q3 2019. There's also Rocket Lake U which will feature up to 6 core SKUs in 14 nanometers and also a 14 nanometer or 10 nanometer graphics chip when it arrives in 2020. And these would most possibly be off die chips rather than on die chips that Intel currently uses in their mobility GPUs. Much like the G series KB Lake parts that Intel produced last year that featured off die AMD Vega graphics, but this time they would have their own GPU architecture powering those graphics. Intel's Lakefield SOCs using the Foveros multi die package technology is expected to hit retail around mid 2019 and will be based on a mix of 10 nanometer and 14 nanometer parts. There is also Ice Lake Y 2 core SKUs 10 nanometer plan for Q2 2019 and it's marked as limited while its successor Tiger Lake Y which is 10 nanometers as well with four core options has no such markings. It looks like Intel's 10 nanometer yields would get better by mid 2020 so they can offer more mainstream parts to the mass market. Intel would also simultaneously be offering up to four cores on 14 nanometer Comet Lake Y parts around Q3 2019 so they'll have both 10 nanometer and 14 nanometer Y series products available around the same time. 
These roadmaps are definitely interesting, and even if they are legit, one thing needs to be confirmed as to whether the, these are the latest ones or are they outdated. Intel has had product schedules changes over different roadmaps in the past, and this may very well be an older one. It still provides us with some good information as to what Intel products names are called as the 14 nanometer Rocket Lake lineup was previously unheard of. So guys, what are your thoughts on the 10 nanometer hurdles and does this give their competition an unprecedented chance to catch up and possibly surpass them? Love to hear you all chime in on this one down in the comment section. And this has been Keith with the WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.